Yo, what is going on YouTube? Sharp here, bringing us another video. And today we have a $250 Grail box from Toy USA. Um, I don't know if it's guaranteed value. I don't think they said ever anywhere on the post what the what the value was. Uh, I, I guess I, I assume that $250 box, so it, it should be somewhere near that value if you're selling a box of that price. Um, but knowing my luck lately, it probably I'll probably get like a $60 box, so we'll see. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. If you guys are not subscribed, click that like button and let's get right into it. So they had a picture up there um, and they had a couple of the, the Disney pops like Lotso that would have been cool. They had uh, Queen Amidala, Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, Greedo. There was a lot of Star Wars ones that, that I wanted that would have been cool. And then, like I said, a couple of Disney ones. A lot of top hits in this one should be a good box. I mean, $250 like... Come on, it's gotta be a good box, right? I only feel one pop in a protector. There's four pops. Only one of them is in a soft protector and the other three are not in a protector. That kind of concerns me because you think if there's a pop like over a hundred dollars that they would put it in a hard stack, but I don't know, let's see. So our first pop here, not in a protector. Three, two, and one. I see Scooby-Doo. Oh, it's Scrappy Doo. Okay. Scrappy Doo from the Funko Shop. This came out in 2019. 50 year anniversary of Scooby Doo, I guess. Uh, I, I opened up a flock Scooby Doo from Grails Gone Wild uh, like a month ago or so. But yeah, Scrappy Doo. There you go. He's, uh, what? This is Scooby Doo's cousin, right? <laughs> I always remember in the live action, they made Scrappy do the villain. And I never understood why they did that. Cause I'm like, in the cartoon, he wasn't the villain, was he? He was just, he was Scooby's cousin. He just made a couple appearances in, in, uh, in episodes, but he wasn't like the villain. They had this dude, I, I don't know. I, it's been a while. The one that used to come on Nickelodeon, I believe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why they made him the villain. If you have any idea, comment down below. But yeah, Scooby Doo, great show, classic. Y'all remember me telling you when I was a kid, I was terrified of it. There was a Headless Horseman episode that just, it, it ruined me. But uh, I still watched it. Next pop, not in the protector. Three, two, and one. Disney Robin Hood. Oh, okay, so this is from the original, like, cartoon Disney Robin Hood. Um, I mean, this isn't like Robin Hood Men in Tights type type action you know but it's from the the disney one where robin hood's a fox and then you got sir hiss prince john as you see on the back uh but this is from the the series six of disney so uh the disney pops usually do pretty well they are pretty uh you know because they're older when did this one come out 2014 is that what that means this date right here does that mean it came out uh, August 20th, 2014? I think I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn here. We'll see when I check the value. But yeah, Robin Hood. I don't like particularly remember uh, that movie too much. I mean, I know I watched it. I have it on VHS. I uh, watched it when I was little, probably numerous of times. I think that was one of my brother's favorite movies. But um, with Disney Plus, you know, they got like all the pretty much all the old Disney movies. We'll have to we'll have to show Dominic some of the, the old school classics. All right, last pop, not in a protector. Three, let me see the front. Is this the front? All right, we got the front. Three, two, and one. Ooh, Heisenberg. He got the blue meth with the pistol, his little top hat. Breaking Bad Heisenberg. Okay, not a bad one. I'll, honestly, I might, I might keep this one. Breaking Bad. I don't have any of the other Breaking Bad pops, uh, but Breaking Bad is definitely my favorite. Definitely my favorite TV show. Um, I think they, I think they just ended it at a really great time. Like it's not like The Walking Dead. Like I used to watch The Walking Dead, but uh, they literally just they drugged that show out so long it was it just it never it's never ending I, I think it's is it still going on 
are they done walking yet? I think, I don't know. I think they finished it, but it was so, so, so long. They just drug it out and they just tried to do so much with it. Um, as to where Breaking Bad, I feel like they told a good story and they ended it at a great time. And they even came back with like a, a little after with El Camino. Uh, you got Better Call Saul. I like that show, but I also like Saul Goodman's character. So yeah, I don't have any of these. You got Jesse and Walt in hazmat suits. You have like the original Jesse and Walt where he's, he's in his underwear. That's a cool one. So far, so far I've been impressed with the, the pops in these bot in this box. A lot of older pops, but you know, like I said, two hundred fifty dollars. Like you're not going to be getting those those boxes that have the the new pops or the twenty twenty ones. Where like, oh, dude, this one's worth fifteen bucks. So, last pop, the one in the protector. I, like I said, I, if it was like one of those Star Wars ones, those are all up in the two hundred, three hundred dollar. But like those are high value pops that I, they would put in a hard stack. But at two hundred fifty dollars, you would think. I would get some type of pop in a hard, like over a hundred dollar value pop that would be in a hard stack. So we'll see three, two, and one. That's George Sanderson. <laughs> okay. So we got George Sanderson from Monsters Inc. Uh, if you guys do not know George Sanderson, he is the character that got the 1721 or whatever I, I don't remember what the code is or the 1738 <laughs> where he got like a sock put on his back and they had to shave him down pretty much put him in quarantine because he uh had gotten touched by a child in the in the human world he had he had child children objects on him uh and then in monsters inc or in monsters university he was actually made an appearance his team cheated in the scare games and they got disqualified they were like the first team eliminated so I'm, I'm a big fan of monsters inc we have the the mike wazowski pop the sully pop and the boo pop and we have a signed boo pop so we will probably for sure be keeping george here but yeah it's in really good condition for a pop that would this come out in 2014 for an older pop it's part of the 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 second series here let's check value on these Robin Hood, this came out in, yeah, 2014, and it's vaulted, and it is $43. Scrappy-Doo came out in 2019, and he is $46. So, Scrappy-Doo is a newer one. I haven't really bought any of the animated ones off the Funko Shop, but I know that Johnny Bravo and Dexter dropped, and they sold out instantly, and then people were selling them for, for high price. So, uh, I know the, the Funko Shop ones... I don't know if it's bots, probably bots. People probably have bots and they get them and then they resell them, unfortunately. Heisenberg is also a $43 pop. Vaulted came out in 2014. Two, two vaulted pops and one newer one. So we are at $132. So is George Sanderson, is he worth that? Is he, he's, gotta be, he's gotta be over $100, right? George Sanderson is worth. <laughs> You're lying. George Sanderson is worth $60. So out of my $250 box, I got, this is my top pool, which, you know, if it wasn't a $250 box and I didn't fall almost $60 short, but this would have been a cool pool in the box. I'm for sure keeping George. Uh, might keep Heisenberg. Um, and I got three vaulted pops and a, a nicer newer pop. Why is this always, why does this happen to me? Always, always happens to me. Take my gamble and I lose. I, I never win the gamble. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. And um, like I said, I'll probably for sure be keeping George. Uh, but if you are interested in any of the other three, let me know. Uh, usually do, I usually do pop price guide. Uh, but we might need to, uh, we might need to up our prices with, with how these boxes are going. Yeah. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of these. Thank you guys for watching. As always, your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace.